know him, you love him. I present to you the man defending his regular ship on New Year's Eve. This is the great Hans Kim, everybody. Thank you guys. Good to be here. Um, I love it when there's a conflict in the Middle East because I got to find out which of my friends I thought were Mexican. <laughs> I shouldn't be flying with. <laughs> uh, I've been getting a lot of hate online for my jokes about the Israel-Palestine conflict. A lot of people online have been calling me a Jew hater, which I hate, because for a second there, I think they're calling me a Jew. <laughs> <laughs> Jew, no! Hater, mm, okay. <laughs> My girlfriend has recently been getting on my ass. You know, she's like, you gotta shave, because when I kiss you, it hurts when you have a five o'clock shadow. I'm like, you think that hurts? Try rubbing the tip of your dick on your September o'clock shadow. <laughs> Thank you. There he is. Exactly 60 seconds. Hans Kim with another new minute. Very yes. exciting. Thank you, it's very new. <laughs> What'd you say? It's very new. Yeah, how'd you feel like that went? I felt like that went better inside my head where I was just inside my own head. The Mexican joke is killer because that is true. Right? You yeah. know? You can never tell these days. It's, it's crazy. <laughs> it's unsettling. <laughs> yeah. Those brownies. Those brownies, <laughs> that's what I call them. If you don't know which ones they are. Yeah, it's crazy. I, uh, I recently went to a Thai restaurant, and I thought they were Thai. It turns out they're Mexican. Ah, <laughs> interesting. Yeah. What did, uh, how was the food? The pad Thai tasted a little bit, a little bit Mexican. <laughs> it, was, it was like a little sweet. But the, the curry was great, so I don't know what it is with Mexicans and curry, but they really got away with curry, these Mexicans. <laughs> Okay, well, uh, this is all very interesting. Yeah. It makes sense. Mexicans and Thai people both have a, a love for rice. And this is like a Nazi cooking show. <laughs> <laughs> like a white supremacist cooking. Yeah, rice, Mexicans, <laughs> Thai. So, uh, Hans, you're all over the news this week. I can't believe you didn't really oh, yes. cover that. Oh, yes. You didn't talk about that in your I brand new minute. You forgot <laughs> that for the first time ever in your life, you are in the world news. Yes. Thank you. Um, <laughs> yeah, it might be worth acknowledging. I got on the news for telling a joke that the New York Post thought was off color. So, you know, that's a good sign. I Fuck take yeah. that as a compliment. They Fuck called the you New an York idiot. Post. Yeah. <laughs> What? They called him an idiot. Oh, like, the New York Post idiot called... comic. Oh, wow. And That's... there was no one in the article calling me an idiot. They just wanted to call me an idiot, so they put it in quotes. Yeah, New York Post quickly becoming TMZ. Well, TMZ is becoming more of a legitimate news source. Right. Yeah. It's kind of weird, but TMZ covered you this week, too. Oh, shit. I don't know. You didn't know that? I had no idea. Okay. And the Rolling Stone covered you today. Did you yes, know that? Yes, in Brazil, yes. Oh, it was the Brazilian Rolling Stone. <laughs> <laughs> my yeah. team, my council did not tell me it was the Brazilian Rolling Stone. Thank you, McVader, for... Did you see Hans in the Rolling Stone today? No, I didn't get a chance to read the Brazilian Rolling yeah. Stone. <laughs> you fucking goofballs. Who's on the cover of the Brazilian <laughs> Rolling Stone? <laughs> Just anybody? <laughs> uh, the Brazilian Rolling Stone, funny enough, written by Thai people. You never know what you're going to get. There's always <laughs> role reversal happening here. Uh, but it was a Matthew Perry joke, correct? Would you yes. like to do the joke that got you in trouble? See if we, yes. Let's see if we can get you in trouble again. Double Matthew trouble. Matthew Perry. Yeah, Matthew Perry. Matthew Perry, fat, bloated corpse. Matthew Perry recently passed away. Very sad. Uh, you know, for a guy on a show called Friends, he could have used a couple. No, that's not it. You didn't even do your own I didn't joke. I set it correctly. up right. I'm you sorry. You did not I set it up it right. Up. This is what you are really an idiot comic. Huh? <laughs> Incredible. It's Matthew Perry drowned in a hot tub. For a guy that was on Friends, you think he would have a couple of them. <laughs> right. 
Really not worth canceling anyone over. Definitely not. <laughs> the only person that ended up canceled in the whole thing was Matthew Perry. <laughs> you survived with your I'm head alive. above water. Yes, I mean, the New York Post... <laughs> yeah. The New York Post made Matthew Perry's life miserable when he was alive. I'm just talking about him when he's dead. That's a really good point. Yeah. Wow. Who cares if you're dead? You can say anything. Like, fuck Bob Barker. Whoa. 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 Wait a minute. Beloved Bob Barker Triple B has been brought into the field. This play is under review. Yeah. How dare you talk about the unbelievably cool the band that was there with us on all of our sick days as a child. You went straight for Bob Barker? <laughs> I was Normally Asian. when a Korean's roasting a Barker, they're about to eat a dog. Oh. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Oh, that wasn't D's, okay. Oh, that was the Price is Right theme on piano, everybody. <laughs> Red band over here. Yeah, you got it. Oh, 8-bit, that's always good. Uh, no, don't, don't, don't. Hans, anything else exciting happened this week? My girlfriend and I got into a huge argument. Let's talk about that. She, <laughs> she wants me to come over all the time. She very rarely makes the drive over to see me. Um, and I, you know, I got really mad at her. I was like, you're taking away my time. I really want a podcast. You're not letting me podcast. Um, and it really is hurting my comedy career. I'm being mentioned in Brazilian Rolling Stone. <laughs> so what did she say to that? She was like, okay, I'll do more of what you want. And uh, today I jerked off on her. Wow, you love jerking off on her. This is incredible. So when you're jerking off on her, is she fully clothed? She, uh, is this a thing? Yeah. Like, she I, I awake? Mean, it seems like she's not contributing at all to this. Is she awake when it's happening? Yeah. It's, kind of... it's better when she's not. Yeah. Uh, Hans. <laughs> no, she's fully awake and consenting. Uh-huh. Um, is she clothed? I can't she picture She starts this. out clothed, and then she does one of these where she, like, lifts it above her tits. And that's where yeah, you... That's where I ejaculate on Oh, her. my God. Wow. <laughs> You're basically just a one-man band. She does the Burke Kreischer move. She rips it. <laughs> she's like, I'm the machine. And you just... Ah, <laughs> hot. Hot. <laughs> hot. <laughs> I got to... And that's how it goes. So then what? Do you get her like a towel or something like that? What do you have? Like one of those fucking little wet naps or something? <laughs> I, uh, yeah, I have a little towelet I got and then I wipe it off. But at her house, I just use toilet paper. Oh, God. <laughs> Amazing. This is, you, know, you ladies are really missing out letting Hans Kim be yeah. out there taken on the market. I'm sure this is what everybody wants is little bits of toilet paper in their belly button. Yeah. I mean, what an opportunity yeah. of a lifetime. <laughs> Absolutely incredible. Double ply? Yes, the finest. Charming. Okay, very good. Absolutely. <laughs> the quilted picker-upper. <laughs> All right. Well, um, uh, Hans, way to get the show started. You did it again. We love you. Thank That's you, Hans Tony. Kim, everybody. We're going to get through tonight's episode. We're pre-picking another name. The bucket of destiny.